Francis and Fidel. The Pope meets Cuba's former president and the current one as the U.S. awaits a big arrival this week. In the United States. Secretary of State John Kerry says the U.S. will up the number of refugees allowed in. I am a real person. Hillary Clinton defends herself against the criticism she's out of touch. Morning, everybody. And Sunday School with Jimmy Carter, the overwhelming support for a former president following his cancer diagnosis. This is the CBS Overnight News. Welcome to the CBS Overnight News. I'm Jeff Glore. It was history in Havana Sunday as Pope Francis met with Fidel Castro and celebrated Mass in Revolution Square, where the Castro government normally stages communist rallies. The Pope delivered both spiritual and political messages to hundreds of thousands on the plaza. He arrives in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday at a time when American Catholics are feeling positive about the Pope and the Church. According to a CBS News New York Times poll out today, 53% of American Catholics say the church is in touch with the needs of Catholics, the highest that figure has been since the question was first asked in 1987. 63% view Pope Francis favorably, 79% approve of the direction he's taking the church. We begin with Alan Pizzi in Havana. The CBS Overnight News will be right back. Today, Hillary Clinton made her first Sunday show appearance in four years as a guest on Face the Nation. Her life was as intriguing as her books. We look back at the life and career of Jackie Collins and how the people aboard this burning boat got out alive when the CBS Evening News continues. Up next, a dog in danger and emergency workers to the rescue. Up next, your extraordinary Sunday school scenes with Jimmy Carter. People. That is the CBS Overnight News for this Monday. For some of you, the news continues. For others, check back later with CBS for the morning news and CBS This Morning. From the Broadcast Center in New York City, I'm Jeff Gordon.